In the winter season, around December 25th, the people celebrated the winter solstice. And so during that time, a number of ceremonies were held in northern countries. In ancient Greece, there was the Bacchanalia, which was held for their god Bacchus, the god of wine and sport and play. The Romans had the Saturnalia for their god Saturn, their main god Saturn. You have to understand this concept of Saturn, the concept of Bacchus, when they are portrayed by the different artists who drew pictures of them or the sculptures, they're usually portrayed as a heavy set man with a white beard. And there are actually pictures of this man on a sled being drawn by snakes with wings. Snakes with wings. Snakes do not normally fly. But in this case, the snakes have wings and the heavy set man is on his sled being drawn by these flying animals. Sound familiar to you now, doesn't it? He's being drawn by the flying animals. He's performing miracles. He's, he's coming out on December 25th, which is not the birthday of Isa alayhi salam, has nothing to do with Christianity. It is the time of the, of the Bacchanalia and, 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 and the Saturnalia. And he is representing riotous fun, drunken reverie. And so what happens on Christmas, the Christmas season? They're looking how they can get drunk. Now this riotous occasion that was going on went so far that the Christian church banned it. According to historical sources, 1647, it was prohibited in England to celebrate Christmas because they saw Christmas as being a pagan holiday. This is an official position taken by the Christian church, the Church of England who were known at that time as Puritans. What happened was an individual was superimposed. A name was superimposed. We hear about the name of uh, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Now, Saint Nicholas himself is actually coming from the ancient writings of Beowulf. And in these writings, which are done in the Scandinavian region, we find the name Nick or Nickel or Nicker. He was known as a demon, the demon of the North. And so in Germany and in many of the Northern countries, this Nicholas or this uh, Pelsnickel, as they would say, Pelsnickel in German, it means a furry devil. The people actually looked upon this so-called Saint Nick as being an evil force and they would tell their children in the winter time don't go outside because if you do Nicholas will come along Nickel will come along he'll capture you put you in his bag and take you away and so they used it as a negative concept in Isaiah in what is left of the Bible in chapter 4 in, in 1413 the devil is, is known as the prince of darkness and it is an understanding that his throne the seat of his power is in the north. Somewhere in the north is the seat of power of this evil.